Well, running just like the favorite he was, California Chrome makes it four in a row, and each one more impressive than the last, as Victor Espinosa let him open up through the stretch, and it was no contest. Well, if it's all about progression, which I think it is, this one, California Chrome certainly fills the bill. He had the competition at his mercy at every pole. It was up to Victor Espinosa when he wanted it him to cut him loose, and if you watch the last hundred yards, Victor Espinosa is dropping, just simply pulling him up, saving a little bit for Churchill Downs. There is absolutely no doubt that we just saw the Kentucky Derby favorite a month from now. He ran just as fast as he did in the San Felipe. There were some people that were skeptical that he could come back with another big race like that, a mile and an eighth, and 147.52, even on a fast track like today. That's just as outstanding as the number that he ran in the San Felipe, and did it probably with less urgent than in the San Felipe. Opportunity, he was second, had to, had to wait just a little bit around the turn, but he wasn't going to beat California Chrome no matter what, and Candy Boy certainly had no excuse. Gary Stevens oh. was in a perfect position, locked he and was. loaded at all times, and Candy Boy just wasn't up to the task today. Gary had to be smiling from ear to ear until he saw California Chrome just gallop off into the sunset when they turned for home. Well, it's been since the 60s that a California bred won the Kentucky Derby, but California Chrome will go there as the favorite, no doubt. You know, in, in a great position all the time. He didn't break real well. The California Chrome kind of rocks in the gate. Sometimes he'll beat the, great, the break, sometimes he'll get off the beat slow. But he certainly settled into a good spot. And right here, Victor Espinosa is doing enough to get a workout in this horse, get a, a fairly tough race, but now he doesn't extend him. He starts to pull him up, starts to ease him up right in here, which is a very, very smart thing to do in a presence of mind to do it. Candy Boy needed a 1-2 finish to probably guarantee him a spot in the Kentucky Derby. Instead, he finished third. And again, Gary Stevens has a mount on fire in the Arkansas Derby for Bob Baffert next week. So Gary could have a choice if Candy's Boy does make it between Candy's Boy and Byron. But California Chrome was much the best in the San Anita Derby, winning uh, easily. That's Steve Coburn, one of the owners. He lives in Nevada. He is, as Randy noted earlier, quite a yeah. character. Yeah. He said they turned down $6 million for 51% of it. Hey. He had a dream about this horse, and he's not giving up his derby dream, that's for sure. Maybe a good financial move. <laughs> wow. And how is this for an omen? Steve Coburn's birthday is May 3rd, just happens to be the date of the Kentucky Derby, and about the 77-year-old trainer, Art Sherman, how thrilled must he be? When Sherman went to the Kentucky Derby with Swaps in 1955, he rode in the train along with Swaps, he slept on the hay next to Swaps, I 